Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in today. I have this super fun spring colorful look for you. I was totally inspired by these like little lavender flowers that my son brought me um, for just being nice because he's awesome like that. Uh, he was out walking with his dad. So anyways, I was inspired by the lavender and I wanted to just create an eye look surrounding that since it's spring and summery and fun. I mean, granted it did hail yesterday here in Colorado, but whatever. <laughs> anyways, enjoy this video. Keep watching. Give it a thumbs up. All that jazz. You be you, boo. All right, today we're going to start with the face. First, I'm going to use the Hard Candy Sheer Glow Blushing Babe Soft Glow Illuminizer infused with 24 karat gold. So I'm going to just take a little bit of that. It is kind of pink looking, but it doesn't, after you put your foundation on, it's fine. fucking construction. And I'm gonna use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I love this foundation. I've been obsessed. So I'm gonna just put a little bit on the back of my hand and put that all over my face with my Real Techniques sponge. And just because I'm experiencing some hormonal redness, I'm going to go in with the second pump for a little extra coverage. Now I'm going to go in with my Naked Concealer, Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. This is in the color Fair. And I've learned you don't need that much. It goes a long way. But I'm bringing highlight underneath my eyes and on my chin, Cupid's bow and nose and forehead just to bring a little bit of light to my face, and then it gives more dimension to my foundation. And then I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Cream Contour Palette. I love this palette a lot. I'm gonna just use my finger to place the contour number one shade, which is the biggest shade right here. And I'm gonna start to sketch out where I want my cheekbones to be, or where they are. And I'm also going to put this on the side of my head. So, ah, dropping everything. Ah, dropping everything. On the side of my head just to balance out this contour. Then I'm going to take this Sigma Angled Kabuki brush. I'm gonna, it is the one F84. And I'm going to just tap this in. Move my hair. And you want to do tapping motions, not sweeping motions, otherwise you're just going to take the product away. This presses it into the skin. And then I'm going to sweep it a little bit into my hairline. If you have very light hair, um, you just want to press into it so that way it looks like your skin is actually shadowed and not just, you know, fake. <laughs> And then with my Ben Nye powder, I'm going to go in with a loose, fluffy brush and just set all of that. And I do tapping motions with this powder because I find that if you sweep it, it'll pick up your product. With my tapered Sigma brush, I'm going to go in right underneath my eyes. And on my eyelid. And with this angled Sephora blush brush and my Milani Breaked Bronzer in Glow, I'm going to put that right where I put my contour. But not contour with it, I'm just going to wear out my skin. I really like this bronzer because it has a nice golden sheen in it. So then you just look like you got kissed by the sun. Putting this all along my hairline. So that way it looks like I'm just glowing. You don't want to bring it to the center of your face because if you do, then it'll just look muddy instead of like bronzed. I'm also going to bring this down my neck a little just to bring some dimension to my jawline. This is optional, but I feel like my jawline just is not very prominent. I don't like to contour it really because I feel like it looks muddy on me. And then for blush, I'm going to use this Milani Coral Cove blush. I love the flower in it. It's so pretty. This color looks really intimidating. This color looks really intimidating. I thought they were done. They were doing this this morning. 
They just took a break. Why? All my children are sleeping. Just let me film. This blush looks a little bit intimidating in the pan, but it's just if you use a light hand, it looks really gorgeous. So I'm going to use a small blush brush. What are they doing? It sounds like they're sawing off the whole entire apartment or something. This is happening right next to my door this morning and I wanted to kill them because I woke up all of my children. It would have been nice if I had a little bit of notice. Just saying. Use a small brush brush and just be light handed with it on your cheeks. If I bring it too far forward it makes my cheeks look really full. But if you want to make your cheeks look fuller just bring it closer to the mouth area. Then since it's super glowy, I'm going to top it with this Wet n Wild Mega yeah, Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighter and this is the one in Crown of My Canopy using the same brush. And I'm just going to put that directly over the blush that I just laid. And this one I'm going to bring a little bit closer to the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to go back to this Sigma highlighting brush and I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting powder in Precious Petals. And this is going to go on the top of my cheekbones and towards my temple. I'm also going to put this on my cupid's bow, my chin, a little on my nose. Now just to marry all of that together, I'm going to use my big fluffy brush again and I'm just going to lightly dust over it. I'm using this intense flat contour brush from MAC, um, Morphe sells a cheaper one. I'm going to just bake out underneath my contour since I got a little bit messy while I was having fun with my bronzer and all that. So to do that, I'm just going to load up my brush and I'm going to tap it right there. I'm going to let that sit there while I do my eyebrows. For my brows, I'm going to use the Deep Dark Brunette by MAC. It's funny because this is super creamy and they're warning me, like, don't let it dry out at all. But I actually really like the texture of it now that it's a little bit dried out, not completely, just a little. Okay, now that I've done my brows, I'm going to wipe away this bakage. And then I'm going to use this fluffy part to just blend out the very end of that. I'm going to use this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. Freaking beautiful. Using this L'Oreal little quad. So first I'm going to go into this color right here with a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to just brush this in my crease. Going into this blending brush, this one is just a denser one. It's completely rubbed off of look which brush it is. But I'm going to go in with this shade right next to it. In this, I'm going to concentrate more directly in the crease. Keep repeating the steps until you like the color pay off. Then using this really small tapered blending brush, I'm going to, it's called the Morphe M506 brush. I'm going to dip into this dark kind of purple color, it's called Abyss. Tap that on the outer corner and bring it into the crease. And then I'm going to go back in with that big fluffy brush and that seashell color and just blend out everything. I want it to be pretty blown out. And I'm going to use this Tattoo 24 Hour Color by Maybelline. It is this white pearlescent one. It's in the color Too Cool. I'm using this to just make the next color pop. So I'm just taking my finger and I'm going to put this on my lid in inner corner. And taking a flat shader brush, this is a MAC uh, 252 brush, I think. It's all faded off. I'm going to go into the L'Oreal Color Reach and take this light purple right here, this one. And I'm going to coat that, what I just laid down. Now 
Then taking that fluffy brush and the shell color, I'm gonna blend that out. Then tapping back into the abyss color with my little tiny blender brush, I'm gonna hit that outer corner. Then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take this ColourPop liner. It's in Maybe. It's a bright green. I'm gonna take this Sigma liner brush and I'm going to use my beauty blender to pull my eye down. And I'm gonna tap this in my waterline. And then with a tapered pencil brush, this is another Sigma brush, I'm going to use that shell color and blend out that lower lash line. Continuing with the flower theme, I'm going to use this ColourPop liner in Punch. It's just this bright yellow. And I'm going to use my tapered pencil brush. Dip this on my inner corner. It looks really neon, don't worry, we're gonna soften it. Then going into that L'Oreal palette again and using that white pearlescence color, we're gonna blend that out. Use the Maybelline Last Sensational Original, and this one gives you really feathery lashes, so I like it a lot. So just to go with the softness of this look, I decided to use this mascara. And to finish up the look, I'm going to use this Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lipstick. Then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Gloss in, this is Sun Glaze. I've always used these alone, not over a lipstick yet, but this really broke up the lipstick underneath it. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing color looks. Let me know what you think down below. My inspiration was totally a flower, but whatever, whatever works for you. So have a great day. Bye-bye.